Hi, my name is Johan Stenström and I work for company Nodeledge. Today I'm going to uh, tell you how you can use LoRaWAN sensors and send the data uh, to PLCs or SCADA system using Modbus TCP. We have a, a small converter here which you can attach to the DIN rail and uh, you can apply connect as many gateways as you like and you can convert <coughs> LoRaWAN sensor data to Modbus TCP and then you can use any brand of PLC or SCADA system to, to fetch the data from the LoRaWAN sensors. So how this works I'm going to explain to you now. So on the desk here I have a small <coughs> MileSite uh, gateway I also have a sensor from the Swedish uh, sensor manufacturer Elsys who is sending data here now. This would be a, a very economical alternative if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, add 50 or 100 room sensors when you are renovating a house, for instance. Not so many cables to the electrical cabinet. So first you log into the MileSite uh, web interface. And uh, in the menu here you go to Packet Forwarder and you make sure that your gateway is running in Packet Forwarder mode to the IP number of the bridge X on port 17, 1700, yes. Uh, so now <coughs> there is traffic here from, from the ELSYS sensors and it's forwarded to the, uh, to the decoder. So if I log in here to the uh, bridge X, I will have a menu here, and on this tab here I can see live data coming in to the uh, to the converter. So here was one message. We can see that it was an ELSYS. It arrives over HTTP. This was the payload that has been converted to 22.6 temperature, Celsius, humidity, millivolt uh, and air pressure. And uh, this message is just pouring in over the uh, gateway. Here we have something called the decoder repository and I show you all the decoders here. Here you have all the famous brands and models of different sen sensor sensors on the market is well over 300 different sensors and uh, pre-made uh, payload decoders. You can choose any of these, uh, mix and match, whatever solve your uh, problem to um, and forward them. If I then go into sensor values here, I can see here that I have a sensor. It reports temperature, humidity uh, and uh, battery, air pressure. I here can set a Modbus register. And this Modbus register uh, can be accessed over this uh, IP number of the Bridge X device and uh, port 502. So the PLCs are, or the SCADA system are going to connect to this device here and over port 502. So let's go into a web port, a uh, Swedish famous uh, SCADA system for uh, buildings. So just log in here. I go to communication and IO units. I can see that I have the drive Modbus running here. If I click this, I can go down here to see that we are running in uh, big Endian uh, and uh, shifted uh, float. We are connecting to this IP address and, and port 502. If I then go into the tag list, I can uh, wait here to see 
some values, hopefully. Yes, we have 28%. Uh, if I go back here, we have 29. Something happened here, I can see. So let me go in here and change from double to real. Uh, save. Save. Now we have 23 and 28. So now we have the correct value. And perhaps there is a. So this was a short introduction. What you can do with the, with the device uh, Bridge X, connect any brand of PLC or SCADA system to retrieve values from wireless sensors over a long range. It could be 5 to 10 kilometers. And the LoRaWAN sensors has a battery life of approximately 5 years. This is uh, a great way to, uh, to build uh, automation system today. So if you have any questions, give us a call or send us a PM to, to Nodeledge. Thank you very much for your interest.